my name's Joanne Revel. I'm Senior Media Officer here at Aston Martin Cognizant Formula One team. As Senior Media Officer, I mainly look after Lance Stroll and oversee his media activities, but I'm also responsible for looking after the trackside content capture. So it's a little bit unusual for me to be this side of the lens, but I'm going to give it a go. So Thursdays are the busiest day for the media personnel in all of the teams. That's when you do the FIA press conference, you do any interviews you want to do for the race weekend. We try to put everything on a Thursday so that the drivers are not troubled over the weekend and then they can just focus on, on all their track activities and focus on their time with the engineers. So the first job today, Lance will be arriving shortly, so I better go and check in on him, and then it's off the track walk. We'll see you there. So Thursday, obviously, as we said, it's a really busy day. One of the first tasks is actually to do the track walk with the drivers. Obviously, the drivers focus on speaking with their engineers, looking at the track for any changes. It's also a good time for me to check in with Martin, who, is, I, what, what do I actually call you? I was meant to ask you this. I'm performance, performance coach. There we go. But yeah, I work closely with Martin. Um, you know, we look after Lance's daily schedule to make sure everything is, is where it should be so that he has a little kind of to think about outside of the track running. So do you want to run through plans for today? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so that's a track walk over. We've got the step counter up there. Next up, it's a quick cup of coffee, I think, before we get Lance's media duties underway. First thing would be a Zoom session with our Canadian media later, so I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, can everyone hear me okay? So Lance, we've, we've got our Canadian media friends for you here. Okay. Just put, take you off mute. Just let you make yourself comfortable. So Philippe, do you want to kick us off? Thank you guys. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, that's a good. All right. See you guys in a bit. Cheers, Lance. So next thing is the meeting at quarter past two. So you've got a bit of time to relax. Can I leave? Thank this? you. Sure. So one of the key tasks on a Thursday is of course taking the drivers to the press conference. This is the FIA press conference and then we go to the TV pen. So it's usually a good chance for me to kind of remind Lance what might be coming up. Okay, well we'll catch you later. See you. Okay, Nuno is going to be the scorer. You're keeping score. Hi guys, welcome to Brazil. Our latest Lance versus Seb challenge is one that we have requested. You, we, you we asked, have, have yeah, you asked it. me to sort this and we've sorted it. Really? Okay. Yeah, you asked. Remember. Did I? You I both said you. if I play table tennis. Okay, good. Then you're right, yeah, I remember. No! Four, two, last start. I'm just like, by the end of the day, we're like this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're just playing for like... It just comes out. Three, three. Actually, wait, is it one more for me? Three, three? I think it was. I think this is probably a first. This has never happened before that the drivers actually want to carry on the filming. Let's see what happens. I don't even know who's won, who's lost, or... Uh, uh, I'm just going to keep going all night, so I better say sorry to the engineers. Oh. And possibly the catering team. To wrap up to that camera. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The usual line. So to that right. camera. Uh, See you next time. Uh, See you next time. All right, let's go for one more. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Wait. Seb? Seb, we need to do a Christmas challenge. What should it be? <laughs> Table tennis. Table tennis. <laughs> Wearing Christmas hats. Well, that's Thursday wrapped up pretty much for us on the media team. With drivers have done their FIA press conference, they've done the TV pen, they've done some media. 
uh, in-person interviews, on Zoom interviews. We've done some content capture with our photographer, Connor McDonald, this weekend. And of course, we did the Lance versus Seb uh, challenge. That was a table tennis challenge. Anyways, that's the day wrapped up. It's dark here now, as you can see, so it's time for us to head off home and come back tomorrow. Catch you then. Well, it's Friday morning here in Brazil. Uh, it's obviously a sprint race weekend, so we've got FP1 today and qualifying, so slightly different schedule for us. The team has just done its pit stop practice. The sun's coming out, as you can see, I'm squinting. Hopefully the rain's just uh, passing by, so we should be okay. From my perspective, I'm in the garage doing sessions. One thing that had changed with COVID is that the journalists and photographers were not allowed in the pit lane anymore. And now, as the rules and regulations are starting to relax a little, we're seeing them back in the pit lane. So we need someone here from the comms team just if they've got any questions, any queries, and also just to help them out if they need or any, any information to help them with their, their broadcasts. So I actually started my career working at Formula One, working from the rights holder. So I was actually a floor manager slash producer working with these guys here, the cameramen. How are you, James? You okay? It's really nice because you keep those relationships. You used to have to be their eyes and ears in the pit lane, and that helps me to know from this side as a team what we should be doing to help them. So if we have any guests or any celebrities, we've had Usain Bolt, we had Rory McIlroy recently. So it's really good to be able to help the team to get those shots that they need on the cameras and on the international feed. I actually got my job through an advert in Autosport, I won't say how many years ago, but um, it actually was an advert for a junior scriptwriter. So I've been very lucky and had very many opportunities over the years to get to where I am now. That's probably enough for now. I need to crack on and get ready. We need to get out of the way and behind the barriers so the journalists know where to find us. And so I'll catch you later. At this team we champion creativity, so this weekend we're very lucky to have photographer Connor McDonald with us for the whole weekend. He's an amazing talent and a huge F1 fan and he's here to capture some portraits of the team at work and maybe after hours too, so let's see how he gets on. <laughs> Steel. This was the man. Oh, right, okay. I did. I did mention you earlier, Blue Steel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My name's Connor McDonnell. I'm an entertainment and wildlife photographer from Liverpool, England. I'm here today in Sao Paulo, Brazil, as part of the Aston Martin I'm Creativity campaign which is so much fun because I'm a massive, I'm a lifelong F1 fan, so getting to come here and be part of the team and see how everything works, is, it's just amazing. It's, it's a complete new world to me as well. It's, it's very new, uh, but really, really exciting to shoot. Um, I've been photographing the engineers and the garage team. I'm sort of focusing on a much more personal side that I guess most people don't really get to see normally, but I've also had one-on-one -on -one time with both Lance and Seb, which has been so much fun. I uh, did a little portrait shoot with them both, you know, spent time with them in the garage as well. It's, it's been really, really fun. When it's come to shooting this weekend, I've actually found quite a lot of similarities to like my normal day job, whether that's on tour or, or out in nature, because 
again, I have no control over anything. Um, I have no control over what, what the engineers are going to do. I have no control over what the drivers are going to do or the garage team. So there's a lot of spare at the moment, um, things going on, which, yeah, it's, it's quite similar. So I'm really surprised at just how big the teams are. You know, I'm used to being on tour with, with a lot of people, um, but this is on like a whole other scale. It, it's, it's like, it's a massive operation and it's amazing because there's just so many people seeing everyone's individual jobs and how they all fit into, into the team. It's, it's, it's really interesting. What job would I like to do on the team? I mean, obviously driver, but I don't think I'm good enough for that. Uh, the video team are really cool. Um, they have a really fun job. So I, I think something like that would be cool, yeah. Uh, something you wouldn't know about me is before I picked up a camera, I thought my profession was going to be a swimmer. Um, I used to swim very competitively and yeah, I guess, I guess that's something you wouldn't know about me. Now, though. <laughs> yeah. So this is the post-race media pen. Drivers all have to take their turn to do their media, or the TVs first of all, so we have to keep an eye on who gets free, trying to get to Sky. They're always the priority one, they're very busy usually, so let's hover behind Checo and then hopefully we can get uh, Czech Lance in next. Boom! <laughs> Unbelievable, man. I just saw a green car going around everybody. Man. But Alonso had a bad start. Huh? But Alonso had a bit of a bad start. Because I just saw you. On va voir qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire demain. C'est pas facile de doubler, mais... So we have quite a small trackside team here at Aston Martin. We're headed up by Matt Bishop. He's a... A legend, I suppose you'd say, in the sport. He's been in the sport a very long time and very experienced, and I'm very lucky to work with him this year. I've gained a lot of experience with him, and I'm really happy. And of course, Will Hings, he's, a, he's also a very experienced comms guy. Been at this team a very long time now, 10 more or more years, I think, and uh, also a very good friend of mine for many years. So between the three of us, we kind of manage the comms on site. I look after Lance. Will and Matt kind of look after the team comms and Otmar and Lawrence and all those kind of things and senior management. And of course we have Britta. She is kind of my counterpart with Sebastian. I also have known her due to being in the sport a long time. I first met her in uh, the early years when Sebastian was at Red Bull and when he, uh, he won all his titles. So we also go back a long way. It's a really nice team to be part of. You know, you, you just feel like you're very much at home with a good crowd of people. So I've got all the uh, audio files from that there in the pen. It was a bit of a crazy pen, I have to say. I couldn't hear anything. So now I've got to go and get those audio files off to our team, and then we'll get the press release written up and ready to go out to the media. So uh, I better crack on. Bye for now. Good morning. It's Sunday on a sunny day here in Sao Paulo. Everybody's race ready. Looking forward to see what the track action might bring. Although it's race day here in Brazil, we're actually looking forward to Qatar now with our pre-production planning. The content team's actually quite small, just the three of us here, so you can see myself, but unfortunately you can't see Jimmy and Sam, who are videographers and editors, who are behind the lens. We work really closely together to produce all the content that you see, that's across all channels, 
We have some very talented people, even though it's a small group. Not just the relationships we have ourselves, but these have to be really strong relationships in the garage as well, because people have to trust you. You have to be able to make them look good and feel confident on camera. And so it's very important that we have really strong relationships and that people feel they can trust us to make them look good and to show how hard they work and how much they enjoy their job. So after we finish our planning for Qatar, we'll be focusing on the day ahead. So drivers are in their engineering meetings at the moment, getting ready for the race. So it's so important to give them quite a bit of space as well, so that they haven't got anything to clutter their minds and they're fully focused on the race ahead. The next time we'll see them will be the driver's parade. The circuit's full of fans. It's great to see them again. So uh, it's a really good opportunity for the fans to get a little bit closer to their drivers and to uh, give them a wave when they're on track. So uh, we'll see you there. So Lance, we've been working together for three years now. How would you say it is working with me? Easy. Easy? Duran makes my life easy. Duran makes my life easy. I mean, that's, uh, you sure? <laughs> It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Always a lot of fun. Good. So yeah, Drivers Parade is an opportunity also for all the drivers to get together and uh, say a quick hello to each other before the race. So Lance is off around the track now on the Drivers Parade. That gives me a few minutes just to come back here to watch pit stop practice. During the race, I help with the content capture. Obviously, we've got a great crew here. We've got photographers, videographers, and everything. We're really lucky. So that's one of the key jobs I'll be doing this, uh, this afternoon. So wish me luck. Something you wouldn't know about me. Well, when I was at school, I used to play in the school band. I used to play saxophone. And I've actually played in the Royal Albert Hall and indeed the Royal Festival Hall in my younger days, which was a great honor. Um, something else might be that I used to write the scripts for the official F1 end of year DVDs. I was very lucky to work with Ben Edwards, but not many people know that that used to be my job back a few years ago. And what else? I'm from Wrexham in North Wales, so there you go. Brazilian Grand Prix over. Unfortunately, no points for us today. Both drivers encountered a bit of bad luck through no fault of their own, but I guess that's racing. So it's onwards and upwards and we look ahead to Qatar. Now the team is starting to pack up, but as you can hear, the fans are still here and it's, uh, it's one of the things that we're able to do. If we find a fan, a special fan sometimes, we're able to just give them a little treat as we did earlier. We found a sign and I can still see her now with her Sebastian Vettel, you are the best sign. So we just managed to go and give her a cap that's been signed by Sebastian earlier, which is a really lovely thing to be able to do. You really can make somebody's day with just really quite a small gesture. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this weekend through my eyes. I'll be very glad to go to Qatar next week and be on that side of the lens, that's for sure. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you there. Bye.